Hey guys, it is Sunday, November 28th, 2010. I'm John Balicki, and this video is about Beta 2. So there are two things I've been working with Beta 2. Beta 1 was about getting human visitors, you guys, who are awesome, and search engines to be able to visit the site and just function normally, because there's a bunch of security scripts that are implemented to keep the baddies out. Lots of baddies, and then there's good stuff like Google, you guys, and Chinese Yetis. See the other video. Anyway, so, um, there are two things I'm working on, and I guess what I will do is, because it's quicker, I will tell you guys what I will be work. the second part of what I'm working on, and kind of go over um, the crawl stats, which is kind of interesting, which is going to show you guys the speed optimizations and how it's paid out. But first, um, so the first part of beta two's work is everything's live. So you go to jabcreations.com right now. The site should load for you guys just fine. If you guys have any troubles, comment below, and I'll try to figure out what's going on. Other than that, um, yeah. So part one, blocking all the baddie stuff. I'm not going to go into that. Um, but basically keeping out site scrappers, email scrappers, and the Russian Mafia, who apparently think it's important to have a copy of my Brazilian Portuguese translation page. Apparently. Spoke a little more. Anyway, so then the second part of the work for Beta 2 is basically just finishing up um, some tidbits of content. And um, I know that you guys absolutely positively love my webcam. I mean, I know you guys love my webcam. You guys are like, oh, I could watch this all day. And you're like, stop it, stop it, stop it. You guys are like, get a new webcam or just get, get like, spend a thousand dollars for your camera for your channel and like, send me the thousand dollars for the video for my camera. But anyway, so, hey, you know, I got what I got and I'm happy with it. It works. So, but yes, I'm actually, um, been trying to get Cam Studio to work. So, like, when I press record, it doesn't record, and, I, and I'm thinking it's recording. I'm, like, showing things, and, like, well, I'm testing stuff out, and I hit the stop button, and then it starts recording, even though I just hit the stop button. I'm like, no, wait, I, and then it's, it's totally retarded. So, yeah. But I got a friend who I'm going to ask to show me to help me figure out why it's being retarded. Or if it's user error behind the keyboard, uh, I spent a reasonable amount of time, so I don't, maybe it's like a hotkey or something, I don't know. That's okay. Cause, but anyway, so I will hopefully have some, um, screen based videos for you guys to have the webcam, cause I actually get kind of tired of, uh, I'd like to get into video editing a little bit so I can not have to reshoot videos time and time again to post a single video. Okay. So, and then, once I have all this content ready, then Beta 2 will be finished. The site will just be version 2.9.0, and that's it. No beta or anything. And I can concentrate more on content and adding features. And hopefully, I won't, and past that point, I won't have so much time-sensitive things like what I'm working on, like, in, like, the past few days and for the next few days as well. Wow, that was the weirdest sounding airplane I've like, heard ever in the middle of the video, of course. So anyway, dive bombing in the middle of like Florida. Okay, whatever. So crawl stats. All right. So if you guys are building web pages, don't use double quotes in PHP like ever, or use them very minimal, minimalistically, or minimally. Use them minimally. I'm going to keep, not try to slaughter the English language. And don't use regular expressions like all the time. And if you're, you, if you're doing SQL queries, do not put delete, update, and what, what is it? What else? Insert queries inside of a PHP loop. Don't do that. That's like, just don't do that. You have to construct, like if you're going to, um, if you're going to insert multiple uh, entries, or you're going to delete multiple entries, construct the query, and then execute a single query. 
So that's how you keep the load down. So anyway, and also, I mean, just re read quirks. For example, my blog, when you load the blog, all the information from the blog itself, not like, you know, stuff on the sidebar or whatever, but the, the actual blog entries, even, you know, that's all a single query. So writing really effective queries, I'm going to show you guys um, that as well as optimizing your code and keeping it, especially the, the, the order of your code is important. So, for example, there's a regular expression for inside of the registration process. But the regular expressions are the last things to actually execute when it's validating the registration information to make sure it's not like a spam bot or it's someone putting in like retarded information or that a username is not already taken or whatnot. You want to do the least processor intensive things first because why waste, you know, really processor intensive things and they pass and like you come to something that's really easy and it fails and then you waste like Let's say, you know, like a, I'm going to use monetary just to make it simple. Let's say you waste a dollar worth of processing power. I'm just making it simple. All right. Versus if you fail that, that really easy test, and it's like two cents. Okay. So I'm just trying to give people like a idea of like, you know, I don't know how to word that, but basically how you order things is important. So, you can't always get, like, a perfect order, but if the more savvy you are and the more, uh, the greater your understanding of what you're dealing with and the scenario and what is applicable, applicable and what is not, the better off you'll be. So, let's look at the crawl stats, shall we? Alrighty then. So, we have pages crawled per day. And don't complain about the camera unless you want to send me, like, a free camera. Then we have kilobytes downloaded per day, and we have time spent downloading. Now this basically, um, these two charts, lower is better, generally speaking. Um, the dead flat, like here, that's like when none of the search engines could crawl my site. That was for about a period of six days. Now this is only about, I don't know, five or six days, roughly, after I let Google start crawling, uh, you know, all the search engines start crawling my site again. So, so generally lower is better on, on these pages. And he, um, not absolutely, but in general. So up here, um, when I updated my site, it basically crawled, like, recrawled the entire site, basically, which is pretty good. So Google should be figuring out how my new, the new versions of all my pages should rank now. So, I'd like to divert your attention to, um, let's start here. Let's look at these two pages. Now here you see it's requesting a moderately high spikes. And the bandwidth is pretty high. But then it, after the new version, which is about right here, where you see this co correlating plateau here with this valley, I suppose you could call it. As you can see here, there are a lot more page requests but this bandwidth spike is is actually less than with these um, fewer request stars. So what this actually is saying in plain English is that the pages actually take up less bandwidth, which is good. So that'll that'll make the pages load faster, even on um, dial. Up. Uh, I'm sorry, even on broadband, but especially on dial, it'll it'll help. Now looking here. Obviously, we're looking at bandwidth, and we're looking at time spent downloading. So if we look at this, um, actually, we only have to look at this alone. This right here, this smallest dip right here, just above my finger, that is when uh, it was basically uh, all the search engines were not able to crawl my site because I was telling them to come back later. So before this, this is all this is third-party software. Um, well... This is going to be, the spikes are going to be the blog, and the lower, um, bo the bottom areas of, of uh, this load time, or the sp time spent, is going to be more for, more of the static content, okay? And after I updated my software, if you look at this, it's roughly about a third of the time um, that was spent loading this. Because the average is 148, and you can't see here because I got the 
software and whatnot in the way, but it's basically a, roughly a third of the time spent. So that's good. Basically, that means the pages load faster for Google when Google requests those pages. So basically what I'm trying to say is details matter. Understanding your priorities, like for example, when you work on just con when you work on a site in general, you know, security is your number one concern. Like you just drop everything and you work on a security concern. Okay, the fact that Microsoft and Adobe don't just drop everything and just like spend like three months straight just doing nothing but security, you know, scanning and trying to find vulnerabilities and whatnot. That's what they actually should be doing instead of writing buggy software. Um, I mean, or, or at least attempt to, you know, make sure you're, you know, you really got to test out software rigorous. And even if you test out your software rigorously, then, you know, but then you have privacy and then you have content. You want to make sure that your, con your content and functionality actually works before you bother adding new content and functionality. So that's your order of priorities uh, in general when we on a site. And when you're working on the actual code for a site, well, again, like I said, you want to execute the least intensive processes first when you're doing things like validation. Why? Because why spend all the re you know excessive amounts of resources on something like regular expressions, which are processor intensive, to only fail on something that's super simple? Um, if you don't know the difference of, of single quotes to double quotes in PHP, Double quotes will interpret dollar signs as variables and will execute them, which is convenient for some people in some scenarios, but it increases the processing load because it has to now also interpret, it has to actually actively look for that. Whereas if it sees a dollar sign inside of single quotes, it'll just like say whatever and continue like any other character. So that's less processor intensive. So all these little things start to eventually add up and then eventually you come to basically having a third of the load time for a search engine, which is generally good, because you want search engines to like your site and think that's faster. So, yeah, um, all tech, wonderfully technical good stuff. It's hopefully give some of you guys who are not as really hardcore into um, web design development a perspective, part of my perspective, because I have a lot of things that I look into, um, to have, like, there's all these things that just kind of add up to doing what I do, and it's kind of, it's really interesting seeing uh, two and a half years worth of work, really, I mean, usually you have to wait, like, about um, one to two, one, two, maybe three months, sometimes even half a year to see uh, results really start to kick in on search engines and already seeing some really nice results here. So I just want to share that with you guys and also what I'm working on so you guys know that I am around and I'm still working on stuff and beta 2 will only be for like maybe two or three weeks more worth of work that I have but pretty much the vast bulk of everything I've been working on is done in general for a version 2.9.0 and so yeah that's that so that's my update that's what I've been up to and I will definitely be um, I'm gonna get some screen based videos for you guys so no more of this for when I show you guys features on my site and I will definitely be going over the features on my site which there are so many technically juicy things and then for those of you who aren't technical that for some reason like watch the entire video anyway um, there are going to be, I'm going to get a lot more into content once I have addressed all the technical issues that I have to deal with and finish rounding up the content and things like older stuff that I still haven't ported from the old version of my site. So we're getting there. But if you go to jabcreations.com right now, most of it's there, most of it's working, and uh, yeah, so good stuff. So comment if you guys have any questions. I'm don't presume that I know everything about Google and all that, but if you guys have questions and I have an answer for you, I will try to answer them for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Soon, actually. I'll see you guys soon. Uh -huh.